Hello! If you don't know me, could you please leave a comment below so I can figure out what you've been watching that I would be recommended to you? <laughs> and child, please, you gotta find something better. Like, go to abandoned malls, that's what I watch. But uh, I am Devin from TikTok, and I am known over there to look at through ridiculous catalogs and other things. And in this longer format, I thought we would read the AARP magazine together. So you know what you have to look forward to. And it is an important issue because we're going to find out how to survive dangerous weather and find out what movies for grown-ups are. And stop paying your taxes because you're almost dead. On this page, we have a fabulous Michael J. Fox. That's it. I wanted to say Michael Scott so bad. And I'm like, that's not Michael Scott. That's The Office. I'm just trying to make this reading AARP magazine more realistic because these are the thoughts that go through my people's heads. Speaking of my people, here we have an ad for the shoe of my people, the Skechers. By the way, Skechers, if you'd like to sponsor me, I am in your key demographic. I saw John Mellencamp perform, I don't know, like 15 years ago. And it was a really good show. It was a good performance. But it was toward the end of the tour, and his little suit was mighty tight because he must have gained some weight on the road. And he was spitting all over the stage like he was an acid reflex rooster. But it was amazing to see. He is giving us seven tips for living your best life. Which are later life friendships. It is very rare you suddenly become friends with someone that you've known a long time. I've known Bruce Springsteen for years, but our friendship really blossomed a couple of years ago. We talked and text a lot. I cherish that. For some reason, this creeps me out. I don't want to think about him texting Bruce Springsteen and vice versa. Oh my God, do you think they send emojis to each other? Oh my Lord, look what's on the next page. <laughs> Cartoon you. It's still, oh, this is, look at this. You got the emoji thing down. Oh, you're one of those grandparents that are just filling. I do this occasionally with the grand step spawn. I will just send them messages with just full of emoji thingies because I find them amusing. So this is where they're trying to get you to use the, I didn't even know that was memoji, memoji, which is not as good as bitmoji, but people are terrified of bitmoji for some reason. Well, maybe I, I should make myself a mimoji. Or maybe I'll just use this guy. And now I want a mimosa. Well, in case that inheritance didn't come through that you expected. <laughs> here, it's like when your grandma dies, here's where she might have stuck some of her money. Which, I love all these little pictures of them ransacking dead grandma's house. So look in the toilet tank in a freezer. And I swear I thought that said panties. I thought this was going to get good here. Look at a bookshelf. Dig up those floorboards because that's not going to be a problem. Look in a closet and in drawers. Y'all, does this really need to be an article? Oh, wait a minute. It's an excerpt from Keep the Memories, Lose the Stuff. Well, <laughs> obviously, this was some kind of addendum chapter because it's like, we got to find where she kept the good stuff, like the money. Where is it, Grandma? Grandma, get the Ouija board. Here's how to make your fire pit more attractive to the neighborhood. <laughs> Is this really... I must not be living my life right. Like, I barely drag myself out of bed in the morning and drag myself to my job, which I'm going to have to work at until I'm dead because I didn't do any of this stuff in this magazine for my retirement. But I'm not worried about my fire pit drawing in the neighbors. I do like the first little tip here. Watch the wind. So, like... Don't start a fire in the pit when the wind is going to blow back on you. Catch Margaret on fire. <laughs> Although that would be very entertaining. I will have you know that back in the day, I was very much into punk and thrash rock. I had a burgundy mohawk, wore all black, had giant high heels that I wore. And now I am reading these articles about wildflower festivals across the country. And I am quite envious because I'm thinking how nice it would be in a motorhome to go to travel to these wild festivals. What 
has happened to me. This is what happens, y'all. Stay attentive. Or go to a wildflower festival in Butte, because that looks really pretty. Here's an article about rethinking how you lay out your workout space. I don't know why they think that I might need such tips here. <laughs> There's my stack of catalogs, y'all. Well, here's 10 sneaky signs that you might have a heart disease. Uh, I like the, your, your ankles are swollen and you get up to pee. I would be more alarmed if I didn't get up to pee. Here we have a very strange article about an idea for Valentine's Day. It's based on movies where they're telling you what to wear, what to eat, and how to pregame. So these are all movies that I'm sure if you're younger than 40, you have no idea what are. Uh, watch Groundhog Day. That's one of my favorite. I do like on Groundhog Day to pregame. You got to play I Got You, Bay" by sending a chair on a continuous loop. Was that the song that was playing when the alarm clock went off? I think it must have been. But I have never seen Love and Basketball. And I really don't want to. But uh, I find it interesting that the pregame would be an intense round of one-on-one -on -one basketball played for the win. I should totally Ralph and I. <laughs> All five foot four of each of us should go five foot four. I'm so lying. I'm five foot three. <laughs> Ralph is five foot four. He'll tell you that he's five seven. I don't even know. But we should go out and try to play an intense round of basketball. Him with his fake leg, my with my clacky knees. Well, at least we would end up in bed together. What this is interesting is the whole article on how you could replicate the MTV of your youth. Oh, I love it. The grandkids would come over and you've got some kind of horrible thing looping on Pluto. Okay, no joke here. Jimmy Lee Curtis is one of my heroes. I think she is an amazing human being. We need more Jamie Lees. There will come a time when you are envious of these. I would really like one. And look, this one's fabulous. Look at all these little thingies. You could just sit in here and play like damaged submarine. Okay, I have to admit... In the last two years, I have become obsessed with my weather app. <laughs> I will sometimes open the weather app in the morning, and I will read to whoever's in earshot what's going to happen from hour to hour. The sad thing is, consciously, I know, as I'm saying these words, this is nuts and very irritating, and yet I am helpless to stop it. So it's got to be part of the aging process. We're just obsessed with weather. Look at this picture. I am terrified. Is your car stuck in the middle of a spring blizzard? I can let you know if my car looked like that, I'm just going to be dead. You could just say I was cryogenically frozen. Again, dead. Okay, what is this thing with pickleball? In the last, like, five years, I have known several people in their 60s and 70s suddenly start playing pickleball, which is a lot of fun, by the way. <laughs> So if your grandma starts a pickleball league, please leave a comment down below because I want to join. Hey, 20-somethings, if you're still there, nab one of your grandparents' AARP magazines because in the back there's always this free resources thing. And there are all these things you can sign up all your friends for. <laughs> and for the rest of their natural life, they will receive mail from like the Arkansas State Parks. And from something called Men's Liberty, which is an alternative to diapers. And TV years, which I actually want. Somebody send me some TV years. Oh my lord, we may have to investigate the WoW computer. It's the only computer designed specifically for seniors. Oh, we're going to take a look at that. I approve that it has a screen that you can see from space. Look at this. It sets up easy. It's easy to read. It has all these little built-in click-throughs. She looks so happy. So it comes with all this stuff. Uh, seniors love the touch screen monitor. My mom wouldn't have. She would have been <laughs> doing the stuff. Uh, sets up in five minutes. So this is kind of kind of the awesome. I like it. Here's what you need. Uh, oh, you can zoom up to 200%. You can get a digital photo frame screensaver. An antivirus and malware protection. You will need that for grandma. I probably need that. In built-in games like Mahjong. <laughs> oh my lord, I love this. Should we do the crossword together? <laughs> I heard everybody click off right now.